Sunday the 29th of August 2021, was a groundbreaking day in St Helena as the island's branch of the Equiano subsea cable was landed here at Rupert's Beach. This was the first shore landing of the cable in the entire Equiano cable project, having up until Sunday only been placed at sea. Leading up to Sunday's landing, preparation and excavation works were undertaken at Rupert's Beach including the necessary marine works where divers placed on the seabed the piping in which the cable is now enclosed. On Sunday, the cable was dropped over the side of the ship, placed in these pipes and laid and secured in a predefined path on the Rupert's seabed. The end of the cable was installed at the modular cable landing station in Rupert's, where it will link into the island's digital infrastructure. Next steps in the project include the testing of the associated power feed equipment and the installation of the submarine line terminal equipment, which will allow for the front hall link to be interconnected to the respective internet service provider's backhaul infrastructure. The landing today means that um, we physically take ownership of our own branch, which is 1,154 kilometers. So once the ship leaves tomorrow, it will sail towards the um, west coast of Africa, pulling the fiber optic cable, our branch, let's, let's state that again, our, our branch behind it, um, and then it will position itself off the west coast of Africa. Later on, through, through next year, our branch will be connected to the main Aquiano system, which will allow provide connectivity between South Africa and also Portugal. So, in terms of the laying of the cable, this is phase one. Phase two will be actually connecting it to the, to the main branch. It's a momentous occasion, not just for myself, but for the citizens of St. Lena. It's not about, uh, you know, it's not about me. It's, it's about providing faster internet connectivity to our citizens and driving the island forward. I'm Head of Technical Services. We were um, responsible for doing all the civil works and infrastructure works to um, enable the ca cable to come ashore to St. Helena. Um, we've been involved for a couple of years now, so it's been a long process. But with the local teams and, and the local contractors, we managed to um, deliver the solution readiness for the cable. I think it's a, it's a great opportunity, I mean, not only for what we achieve, but for St. Helena. I think it, it, it excites the possibility of what can be achieved on St. Helena, and we as St. Helena will go from here.
The cable that you see here is the land cable, which we are preparing now so that we can make a, a fibre splice connection to the marine cable when it is installed into the beach manhole. This contains uh, eight fibres and also it's a composite cable, so it also has copper in there which, uh, which powers the system.